folks, Bang Average Fishing and welcome to another video here on the channel. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all living the dream. This is something a little bit different. I have never ever done this in my life. Honestly, this is a bit rogue. We are doing some classic Japanese salmon fishing and I'll be honest with you, it's something that I'm a little bit confused about. It doesn't really appeal to me. I don't really know why I'm doing it mainly because I feel I ought to and it's salmon season here in Japan so everyone goes a little bit crazy. It's not what we would typically do in the UK. You cannot fish for salmon in fresh water, it is completely illegal, but you can fish for them in the sea. So a lot of estuaries, unless it's signposted to say you can't, are stuffed with anglers basically lobbing out anything they can find to try and catch these fish. But there is one method that these guys use. Now, I've never done this. I don't really know much about it, but I went to a local fishing tackle shop and picked up a pre-made rig in an attempt to try and do it. And basically, it's this thing. Now, I'll try and get it up to the camera for you. So what you've got here is a float, a spoon, and then like almost like a squid type thing, jelly, feather. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. But basically, you tie this on like any other leader and whack it out and then drag it back very, very slowly. I mean, I went pink because, I don't know, pink, innit? Well, actually, it's salmon, isn't it? Oi, oi. But, yeah, we're going to give this a go. I'm going to tie the rig onto my rod, whack it out, and see what happens. Now, the location that we're fishing is full of anglers, and I mean full of anglers. There's probably maybe, just having a look now, there's four on one side, and I think there's another five on the other side there. So it's about nine or ten anglers. It's, it's midweek, so actually it's pretty quiet. Um, this could be chaos. This could be absolute chaos. And it might be a bit graphic if there's a few fish being caught. I've sort of witnessed at a few different spots people salmon fishing. And honestly, it's like a bloodbath. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, you can probably see by my reaction. I'm a little bit like conflicted by all this but I feel I should give it a little go and see what happens. Right, let's chat in, let's get set up and let's get fishing. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again I really don't know what to make of this. There's the float. There's the jig. Spoon thing. Let's lob it out. It's just running through the rig in a bit more detail. I'm probably meant to have some bait on this to be fair, but I don't. But it's like a jelly octopus feather type thing. A big old spoon huge thing with like a one and a half meter leader up to a float and basically that float's going to suspend the spoon in the air in the water i should say and you just reel it in slowly it's a bit weird isn't it oh yeah and rod wise using the rigdon ready infinite ultimate this rod can do everything <laughs> can micro fish and lob out 80 gram layers no issue <laughs> what on earth? Well, there's a hell of a lot of anglers. Don't really know what to make of it. Do I do I go stand next to them or or what? How does it work? <laughs> I really don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> this is obscene. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then there's two in the car park. Nice. You can't fish in fresh water, so can you see that little orange flag over there? There's another one over there as well on the other side of the river. And basically, you can't fish that way of that flag, which is why everyone stood like this. Right, go on, let's do it, folks. Let's give it a go. I've not actually plucked up the courage to go stand with those boys, I'll be truthful. I'm not that hardcore, and I can't think of anything worse than that. So I'm just going to cast behind them. Hell of a long leader, that though, isn't it? Jeez. I presume they're fucking everywhere, right? That girl's just walking out. What's she doing? She, I feel like she knows something that I don't know. 
She's casting like, there's like a, a line here. It looks like a bit of a current. And I saw her having a walk first, so maybe she knows something that I don't know. I'm gonna follow her. That sounded really dodgy. I didn't mean it like that, but she seems like she knows what she's doing. Whereas these guys, I feel like they're just following the crowd. I like someone who's a little bit niche. And it's weird, this rig. It's so weird. It just like, just flaps around off the bottom, maybe. Maybe it needs to be a bit shallower. I don't know. I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. <laughs> that guy's just casting everywhere as well. I feel like, I don't know if I'm following fishing etiquette right now. <gasps> oh, I saw one. There's one there. Oh no, it's seaweed. <laughs> like, surely the salmon know what's going on here, right? Like, if I was a salmon, I'd be like, what the frick is this crap? And if I don't like this, I'm going to go fish somewhere else. Oh, he put a puffer fish. Everyone's just watching everyone else just to see if they catch them. I feel like she's onto something. She's got one. Zanes. Absolute zanes. And this is a chum salmon. Nice. That guy trying to catch someone else's fish. Unbelievable scenes if that's the case. Oh, mental. Ah, and I wondered if this happened, people get snagged. There you go, some salmon on the deck. Nice, sort of. Not the most uh, nice of catches, but fair play to him. I won't lie, I know it's Japanese tradition and it's all that jazz, but come on, look at that. It's just not for me, that. That's not what fishing's about. Like, God knows how many anglers are there, like, I think 12, 13 on a quiet day. It's not for me, that. It really ain't for me. And you know what, it looks blue skies, but actually, it's absolutely miserable here. Yeah, I, I, weird that, I don't really know how I feel about it. I've actually just pulled out the water because that's not, that's not for me, that, that really ain't for me. Nothing wrong with it, fair play, do whatever you need to do, but it's like fishing on a commercial fishery with a bunch of match anglers for me, that, but instead you fucking keep the fish and kill them. Let's head off the rocks, see if we can just nab something. I'm not very hopeful, I'm, I feel a little bit sort of mixed emotions about that whole experience. I've given it half an hour and I'm just like, I hate this. This is <laughs> it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Well, it's been a beautiful evening. Sadly, the fish ain't been nibbling. It's one of those very, very weird day. I'm still not really sure what I think about the salmon fishing. A bit hit and miss, definitely not my type. I like to be out in places like this where you're just in the middle of nowhere and there's no one around you. I don't like fishing with loads of anglers. If I wanted that, I'd go to a commercial fishery. So yeah, I might go back, probably won't, but I hope you've enjoyed the little insight anyway into Japanese fishing. Well, Japanese salmon fishing anyway. I hope you've enjoyed folks. Tight lines, keep fishing, and remember, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy, and check out Japanese fishing adventures. Tight lines, keep fishing.